My name is Christine Hill Hobby, and I'm a founder and a chief experience provider at Service Alliances. We're based in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, at Service Alliances, we specialize in uh, training programs, both customized and off the shelf, uh, instructional design for in-person e-learning and uh, the newer technologies of virtual reality, augmented reality, and extended reality. We also provide facilitation for in-person meetings and workshops. And uh, we have online meeting uh, workshops that we do with uh, Zoom, WebEx, you know, the usual uh, uh, Google Teams, and then extended reality meetings uh, on and workshops on platforms like Verbella, iLearn, Engage, Altspace, VR Chat. Um, our training programs include um, we we primarily deal in soft skills, onboarding, technical training, and we specialize in safety and security and uh, aviation and aerospace. Uh, currently, we have 16 programs, uh, which are listed here. And I know I'm going to go through this kind of fast. It's a little hard to, to read too fast. But um, I wanted to just jump right in uh, and show you a video of some of our programs. And this will, if I can get to the right slide here um that will illustrate it a little better and i'll just talk as the video goes we're very passionate about vr as instructional designers and trainers at service alliances and here you see our cpr training program the environment is 100 percent realistic and it's risk-free decision making and performance of each user is recorded and a supervisor can monitor the simulation and also control the environment this formative tool uses the latest technology and hand tracking, and the trainer can also activate other observers in the scene who are distracting the learner. Learners are, emotion are more emotionally connected to content than in traditional classroom training. That's what we like about VR. So fire safety, use of fire extinguishers. Our firefighting VR is also immersive and risk-free. It can be used with a VR censored physical fire extinguisher and different locations and fire types can be used by the trainer. Learners are actually doing the physical actions required to learn in the VR and in a fraction of the time required in traditional training. Learners can point out possible risks in this postural ergonomics scenario and answer questions. Feedback is immediate. VR can also reduce the number of accidents and casualties. Students can learn autonomously or be guided by a supervisor or trainer who can explain through voice and visual signals. This is our uh, uh, logout tag, tag off uh, dealing with electrical energy. We offer ready-made VR simulations like the ones I've shown you so far. And we also create customized VR and augmented reality training programs e-learning programs and classroom training with um, or a combination of any of the learning modalities. Okay, wait for it. Watch the sky. Oh, second degree burns there. So our training can also be done through extended reality platforms where all the participants are avatars participating remotely. Uh, overhead crane. Uh, this was created to ensure safe operation of equipment in an industrial unit, completely safe. The simulation is used to explain the use of the machinery as well as safety measures while testing the understanding of the knowledge required. And then warehouse plant risk assessment is a VR program that provides the trainer with a virtual environment where the student can walk around after putting on the correct PPE, of course. Looking good there, Joe. You're all set to go. The learner can practice his or her ability to locate risks in the environment and point them out. And results are shown to the student at the end of the walkthrough. Aircraft fueling for a business jet is an example of a recent customized program we developed. We work with subject matter experts to develop the storyline and then build the program to the client specifications. The technology is getting better and better by the day. Um, active shooter traumatic situation training is available for the classroom through e-learning and with the VR program. 
Learners better understand the impact of traumatic situations in the workplace and how it impacts their ability to think and respond. This program also includes CPR, Stop the Bleed, and defibrillator training, and is facilitated by first responders. Level one of the active shooter includes these three modules. And then finally, I just included a couple of clips here. This was from an uh, extended reality platform uh, where I uh, facilitated a meeting last week. Um, and you can see we had a lot of fun in it with our uh, Halloween costumes um, and had some great learning from it as well. So again, here are the current programs that we have. Uh, we, we do uh, develop custom programs if needed. And here is my contact information. Uh, I have a profile on GovShop and uh, would love to hear from you. And thank you again.